The state of robotics currently is evolving extremely fast. We are seeing robotic applications in almost every sector of industry, everything from teaching, security, agriculture, manufacturing. We are starting to see robots that are really going to help us as a culture. Hi, I'm John Battles, Director of Robotics and Artificial Intelligence at Amazon.com. My role in the company is to do forward-looking uh, research, technology research, uh, to determine uh, what's emerging in robotics and automation systems. I get to meet a lot of interesting companies all working on new and leading edge technologies. The, the term robotics was originally a very uh, detailed or very script industrial definition. A robot had to have multiple axes and, and perform certain functions. However, today, robots are being designed uh, to perform multiple use cases beyond industrial. Convergence is essentially many technologies coming together to develop new systems, and the robot is one of the best examples. It's materials, it's new power, it's new compute, software, sensors, all of those technologies converging to create a, a single product. Brain Inspired Compute has been an initiative in academia and industry for quite some time, and that is trying to achieve the performance of the human brain. The human brain operates between 15 and 20 watts compared to our computers that, that consume maybe 200 watts. The human brain also uh, is the best example that we have of high density storage and the ability to perform multiple computational processes simultaneously. The brain is doing vision, voice, thinking, cognitive, motor control, all of that for 15 watts. The next thing about the human brain that is so impressive is the neural net. So we have about 86 billion neurons. That compute processing power far exceeds what we're able to do in silicone right now. We've been chasing the performance of the human brain for quite some time. What's also important about the brain or the human architecture structure is, back to biological computing, uh, is actually DNA. DNA memory has been basically in development for about a decade and a half. It's believed that three or four grams of pure DNA could store all of the information in the world. That's how dense DNA is. So genetics, genetic engineering, CRISPR, and the ability potentially to create organic robots looks like that technology is emerging as well. Recently, we're seeing what's called neuromorphic processing. And neuromorphic processing is trying to emulate the massive neural network actually on a chip. The brain can basically send a command to 10,000 neurons concurrently or, or simultaneously. That architecture or that difference in compute structure is what gives the brain the speed advantage and the power advantage. Optical processors, they use photons as opposed to electrons. The goal or, or some of the preliminary research would indicate it might be 100 times faster and 10 times more power efficient than our current CPU or current silicone architectures. The goal is trying to increase speed and lower power consumption. Power has been a challenge in robots ever since the, the idea came about. We have relied on lead acid batteries for a century. The need now for mobile power to actually have alternate power sources beyond petroleum and some of the old traditional power sources that we have has really emerged uh, in, in the last 10 years. Everybody has heard of lithium and there are probably a dozen lithium ion formulations out. Those developments are looking for high power density and, and also cost and safety. We're also seeing developments in supercapacitors or supercaps. 
The advantage there is, is that they can charge extremely quickly. We're seeing hydrogen fuel cell packs available for the robots now. Sodium uh, quantum glass batteries uh, are emerging into the market. And on top of all of that technology, there's been a recent reintroduction of a nuclear waste battery. If you could take nuclear waste and safely harness the, the energy from it, could that become a power source as well? AI is a, is a really overused term in robotics, but AI is also very critical for the robot development and the robot future. It has actually unlocked the robot functionality in terms of giving the robot sight, computer vision, recognition of objects, its environment. One of the most interesting developments in artificial intelligence, I believe in robotics, is going to be with generative and intuitive design. Generative design is a computer technology that is using artificial intelligence to actually create or modify designs. It can create thousands of iterations and create a design a human would never think about. You can envision a robot that's been re-engineered by artificial intelligence that could be twice as strong. And it likely would be built by an additive robot. One of the best examples is the Saudi Arabia initiative, which is to use generative design to design new skyscrapers and to have additive robots actually build the skyscrapers. So an additive robot that is being programmed by artificial intelligence to build a generative design robot. That's what we can see right now in industry. I think we're going to continue to see all of this technical development just exponentially grow. I think we're going to see big breakthroughs in power. Clearly, the AI hardware compute is going to continue to develop. But I think one of the biggest things we're, we're going to see is actually the applications and use case develop. And that's where the robot becomes useful. We have so many challenges facing us right now. Forest fires have just been out of control the past few years. Could you imagine a forest fighting crew of robots? Robots in recycling, I think, is going to be a massive opportunity. The entire recycle system of the world needs to be rethought. And I think robots are going to be a key to actually transforming that for us. We've seen more technical innovation and more focus uh, in the last three years than we've seen in the prior hundreds solving these uh, robotic technical challenges. What's exciting to me is what can we come up with next? I think the emerging robot applications in industry, in agriculture, uh, in healthcare, they are going to free us up to do what humans do best, and that's invent and create the next generation of ideas for our society.